Chad specifically said three months. It's been a year, and you ain't helped with the wet. You don't put no food in my You don't put no tissue in my but you know what I'm saying? I don't give a yeah, get your shit and get get your shit and go. Get your shit and get the f out. You moving too slow. Get your shit and go, bro. Get your shit and go. It's cool. Try to do somebody try to get you somewhere to stay, bro, because you fed up. And you wanna talk shit. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, I know I know. No, I don't give a f yeah. We've been friends since the fifth grade. That's what I you that's why I let you even stay in my house. I don't give a f they're talking shit. Take call, you talking behind the back. I don't talk behind the back. I don't give you a little time. Out of all that shit you talk, out of all that shit, bro, out of all that shit I do for you, bro, let you come in this house and let you get, get your hard room. And you on the end, you say, and you said specifically said three months. It's been a year, and you ain't helped with the wet. You don't put no food in my mouth. You don't put no tissue in my mouth. You ain't said, I don't give a f. So why you say three months? I'm going to get you some money. I want, I want the money for you. The money you should have been paying me. I want the pay. I want the, I want money. You talking about no, we <laughs> man look. I'ma try to make this as short as possible and I'ma say this, man. If you are of age to be able to take care of yourself, provide for yourself, in my opinion, you honestly have no business living with somebody else. Now I will say this. Now we have some people in the world, man, that, you know, they have so much stuff going on to the point where they may have, you know, had, you know, a choice, you know, to say, you know what, I'm a, you know, roommate with somebody, or I'm going to live with somebody else or whatever, or I'm going to live with family. And I understand that. I understand how that can be at times. But my thing is this. If you got two arms, you got both legs, you still in your right mind, you can see good. I'm talking about you can smell, I'm talking about all, you got all these things. It ain't no excuse for you to be sitting up here living with somebody else, especially if you know you're able to take care of yourself financially. Now, my thing is this, man. You have to tell yourself, you know what? Why would I live with somebody, have somebody trying to, Slick control me or tell me what I need to do or when I need to be moving now and how this need to go and what need to be done. Just all kind of crazy stuff. You have to act, you have to tell yourself these things. Be like, you know what? Do I want to keep? Do I want to go through this or do I want to keep going through this? So you know what you got to do, man. You got to get off your ass. You got to say, you know what, bro? Nah, mm -mm. I got to get my own stuff. I want to be the king of my own castle. I want to be able to do stuff whenever I want to and how I want to. Like, for real, like, bro, you, I'm telling you, bro, and, I'm, and, and honestly, I ain't no better feeling. That's just like now. I live in my own place. I got my own crib. I ain't roommating with no other nigga. For what? For what? When all I got to do is just get out here and get off my ass and, and get out here and make some money. Making sure I pay my bills. Making sure everything is taken care of. Make sure I'm living how I want to live. I'm not finna be sitting up here half ass and trying to go live with somebody else. Got to sit up here put up with somebody else, you know, just BS. Like, come on, bro. Nah, I ain't even finna do that. But like I said, y'all, if y'all in a situation to where you have to live with someone in order to get yourself situated and get your finances right and, or however you trying to do it, then cool, do that. It ain't no problem with that, but don't overstay your welcome for so long to the point where you get so comfortable and lazy and then you end up just stuck there. Because you know what? The person that signed that lease and they, and, and they really, you know, they, they have to be responsible for the bills, they, they, they obligated to kick you out at any time. I'm talking about any time. So like I said, y'all, hey, be more smarter with your money. Save your money. Get out there, work hard, grind hard, so you can be able to, to have your own crib. You be able to have your own car. You have your own everything. You ain't got to worry about nobody putting you out, man. For real, though, bro. Hey, y'all better listen to me, man. Straight up.